Good morning, folks. Thanks for joining us on our Vote Call One webinar series. We got a big one today. We got a lot of people signed up for this one. So we're gonna give folks a, a few more minutes to join. So while we wait, we'll go over some housekeeping items and do some introductions, and then we'll uh, get underway and show you what the upgrades are all about. Uh, in the bottom right corner of your screen, you have a questions tab. As Dan and I go through, if you have any questions, feel free to fire them away. Only Dan and I can see your questions and we'll answer them as we go through. Right next to the questions tab is a polls tab. Uh, we encourage everybody to hop over there, take the poll, let us know what you want to learn more about, and we'll be back, of course, next month with another webinar. And if you don't see a links tab down there, click on apps, and then you will see a links option. And then there we have direct links to our Vortical One video training library, a great uh, library full of uh, training videos. We get a link straight to our myvorticall.com portal. If you join us regularly, you know we spend a lot of time in there, and I, I think we will today, probably. Yes, we definitely are. <laughs> uh, we get a link to our Vodacall support, our award-winning in-house 24-7 support that's available to all of you. We get a link to our Vodacall values, which is a, an About Us page, uh, and we list our values. Right beneath that is a link to our customer love page where people will hopefully tell us that we're living up to those values. Uh, we're always looking to expand on that. So if you had a great experience, we want to hear all about it and uh, possibly spotlight you on our website. Then we have a link to our LinkedIn page. Uh, click on that, smash that follow button, give us a follow. <laughs> uh, we're looking to build that things there. So do it up. I use that word smash. <laughs> Uh, and lastly, we have a link to our webinars. So um, we have a lot of people joining on this. If it's your first time joining us on our webinars, we have an extensive library uh, that we're building up. I'm going to share my screen real quick to kind of show you um, our webinar page here. So this is the, our webinar page. Uh, you might come here to register for our uh, webinars every month. Um, you can select the dates. We do two webinars every month. And if you continue scrolling down, you'll see our extensive library of webinars. Uh, we spotlight particular features, particular items, and kind of talk about them. These aren't really trainings, but more or less showing you the capabilities of the Vodacall One system. So if you're new here, feel free to take a, a look at these. Um, if you have any questions in regards to any of the webinars you're seeing or anything today, feel free to send a, a, chat, a question in the questions tab. We'll set up a time to reach out to you or feel free to reach out to support at vodacall.com. And again, we'll uh, make sure we connect with you and answer any questions you may have. So I guess uh, we'll uh, get underway here. We got still actually the, the people number still going up. So we got people still joining right now. I guess for the sake of humility, I'll, I'll tell a funny phone joke, uh, funny phone joke, if it's funny. Oh, no. <laughs> <Okay>. funny <duck. laughs> Why was the Italian's phone bill so high? Why was the, what was the question? Sorry. Why was the Italian's phone bill so high? I don't know. Why was the Italian's phone bill so high? Because they were always Roman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that I have embarrassed myself, let's get underway and show these people what the upgrade is all about. <laughs> all right. Well, um, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll start by just saying I'm Dan. Um, and that's Kyle. Um, you know, and uh, Kyle's uh, one of our project managers here at Vodacall, and uh, I work with our director of our sales engineering team. Um, and, uh, and we thank you guys for being here. Um, you know, it's uh, as Kyle said during a lot of this, there's a lot of stuff out there that you guys can reach during those links, uh, customer love being one of them. And, uh, you know, we are a uh, we are a boutique voice over IP firm, and we're really happy that you guys come and, and watch these kind of things. We, we find sharing this kind of information with you is great. Normally, it's just something that's on the platform. Today is a pretty special one for us. This is our second one of these that we've done, and that is because there's a platform upgrade happening. Um, and so what we want to do is kind of roll out some of the new features and functionality. Some of them we'll be able to like get into a little bit today and, and show you what they're all about. Um, some of them, you know, are, are going to be more things that we tell you about, uh, and things that'll be happening a little bit more behind the scenes. But again, I wanted to just say, thank you guys for, for coming to this. It is, uh, you know, it is great that you guys can come and spend a few minutes with us and give us a few minutes out of your day, uh, to, to go through this kind of stuff. So, um, you know, we, 
as we were going through a title for this, it was kind of like, well, you asked and we delivered. Um, and what does that mean? Well, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a couple names here to pop up because I know that there's a couple of people who've asked me specifically about some of the features here that we're going to be talking about today. Um, and I haven't seen those folks. I do see a lot of familiar names, though, uh, as, as we take a look at the list here. But when we say you asked and we delivered, you know, there's been a there's been uh, some of the things we talk about today will just be things that that uh, are things we needed to work on. Um, but I think almost all of them are things that customers call in and ask us about. Um, and, you know, and it's been, oh, no, we can't do that yet. But you know what? That's a great idea. Um, and that's kind of what brings us to where we are today. Uh, so, again, this is uh, this is for you guys and, and on a, in a lot of ways driven by you guys. Um, so, again, uh, thank you. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, um, in the email, it kind of stated these things, but we'll talk about it a little bit. So um, the Vodacall 1 at API 2.0 overview, um, you know, we're really excited about that. Um, and, and I know that there are some names on here that I've seen pop in that I think are also excited about that. Um, and while we're not really going to jump into an actual demo of the new API today, uh, I think that, that, you know, it's a pretty exciting time if, if you're into that. Um, so from Vodacall 1, uh, the new Vodacall Go web phone. Um, I'm very excited about the new Vodacall Go web phone. I think one of the uh, one of the bigger, it's uh, it has some good stuff built right into logging in for the first time. Uh, the overall user experience is a lot nicer. And then uh, I won't blow blow up the big surprise yet, but uh, it's it's kind of something that we've all said for a long time, and a lot of our clients have said to us, "Hey, why isn't this like this?" Um, and so it will be now. Uh, enhanced time frames, um, and that is another one that, that we get asked a lot about. Um, and again, we're, we'll talk about that in just a couple minutes and some of the changes to how we schedule timeframes. Um, the good news for Kyle and Ali is that uh, every month we go through, you know, what are we going to talk about this month or next month on the webinar? Uh, we just did a webinar on timeframes and we get to do it again now. Um, and so that's that's pretty exciting for us um, because, you know, it's uh, it gives us another another thing to talk about. So look for an enhanced time frame frames get today look for an enhanced time frames webinar coming out uh, sometime soon um, domain wide call blocking again uh, this is one of those things that people would ask us a lot um, and we, we had some ability to do it individually but not at the domain level and that's changed um, call park ring back tones and then uh, I think that my personal favorite and that's because I do a lot of call center stuff around here uh, is the Vodacall go mobile app for agents um, and then just an enhancement in there. So uh, yes, without further ado, uh, we'll get to what is going to be the shortest one of, uh, of conversation here about. But uh, the good news about the API is, you know, I think when the, when we first wrote or when the engineers, and I say we, I was not part of that, by the way. I am not an API guy. I am not one of those big brains. Um, but, you know, API can be used for a lot of things to connect others, other other. Uh, you know, to pull data from the system. There's a lot of things that you can do with it behind the scenes. Um, the good news is, is that, um, you know, when we when it was written the first time through, there really wasn't a lot of standards out there for APIs, et cetera. There are standards for, for uh, APIs now. And, um, you know, when I went to our, 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 our big brains in the uh, organization, I said, how would I describe this? And, and I just got back a very simple sentence of, you know, it's completely rewritten um, based on the open API standard. Um, and I said, okay, can you explain more? And, and he kind of said, I don't need to explain more. Anybody who knows what an API is will know what that is, and they'll be very excited about that. Um, so, um, you know, there is all new documentation as well. If the API or API access is something that you're interested in, um, that is going to be something that you can... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I just read Chad's comment. So... Um, the uh we have a whistle for that though um the uh chat so uh we have um uh sorry by the way everybody Ka uh, chad said kyle needs a, a a rim shot on the belt um it's for the bad joke i think so um all right so the um you know the api if you have interest in that again and or anything that we're talking about today Kyle mentioned it already in the links, support at vodacall.com. Um, yeah, thank you for whoever's uh, putting up the crying tears. Um, support at vodacall.com. Just reach out to us or throw a question in here and say, hey, can somebody reach out to me after this about the uh, API? 
um, and we'll, we'll get you, uh, or we can start the conversation. Um, I guess it's a good time to talk about, you know, when is the, uh, when is the, uh, the upgrade happening? It was in the email that you guys got to, to sign up for this, but Kyle, when is it happening? It's going to start at 10 PM Thursday, August 29th and end at 3 AM Friday, August 30th. Perfect. And, um, just because I know it's here and everybody's thinking it right now. So will anybody be down during that time? Nope. Uh, services will not be impacted by this maintenance. Okay. So due to the redundant nature of our platform, folks, um, you know, we, we are able to upgrade uh, and then uh, keep services live. So um, <laughs> brave souls doing it over a holiday weekend, you know, there's something to be said for that. Uh, also, you know, these uh, we, we've done a bunch of these before, so I'll knock on wood uh, just because I'm a little superstitious. But, uh, you know, I, we expect everything to, to, to be just fine. So um, so API 2.0, again, uh, um, completely rewritten based on the open API standard. And uh, I think if for anybody who's who's dabbled, I see Ted in here and he's dabbled in our API before. I think you're going to be pretty happy. Um, Okay, so the uh, new Vodacall Go web phone, and again, we'll be talking uh, about that in just a minute, and we'll, you'll see that we finally screwed our heads on straight um, and, uh, and added some features that you'll like. Um, enhanced timeframes, domain-wide call blocking. Um, again, not a feature that's available to uh, you guys as an end user yet, but if you call up and you say, hey, can you block this number now? We can do it very simply. Um, however, one of the things that people ask for is the ability to be able to maintain that and control that. Um, and that is actually in slated for the next release, just so you know, so that you guys will be able to control that yourselves. But we can do it now for you, um, you know, from the perspective of uh, if you just open a ticket with support, we'll just go ahead and, and uh, block those calls for you. So um, call park ringback tones. So um, when you park a phone call, um, you know, and park for you guys who use those. Uh, some people are use them as holds, uh, individual holds. Some of our finance clients use them for that kind of thing. Um, but when a call has been left, uh, doctor's offices use them quite a bit. When a call is left on park, it's basically like putting it on hold and you can pick it up somewhere else. But if it's left for too long, at some point that call is going to ring back to you. So, so that's what that is. So, um, and, and a call rings back to you. It's, um, you're not sure, Hey, what is this phone call? Well, we can make it ring back differently. Uh, and we can make the tone different so that, you know, Oh, that's a call, um, you know, that's coming back from a park rather than just a new call coming in, uh, very helpful. Um, when you're using parks extensively and something that people have been asking us for, for a long time. So we, we just wanted to tell you that that's there now. Um, and then the Vodacall Go mobile app call center agent access. So, um, and uh, I'll be demoing that for you guys in just a moment. So without further ado, uh, let's jump in and start to take a look at some of this stuff. So we're going to jump in here. And uh, as always, we are going to go to where, Kyle? MyVodacall.com. Yeah, you know it. Uh, so we're <laughs> going to take you guys to the portal, which is really what this webinar series is about. It's about introducing you guys to things that we're capable of doing um, and, and things that the system can do for you to enhance productivity, you know, um, make business run a little bit smoother, uh, get you some time back. Um, and hopefully as we go through some of these tips and tricks, you'll see that as well. But uh, so let's go to myvotocall.com. Now I'm going to share my screen with you guys. I'm already logged in. Um, and you'll notice something that's just a little bit different as with, than usual here. So I'll just go ahead and I'll start by sharing a screen. Give me one sec. And I'm going to go to a specific Chrome to a window here. There we go. And I'm going to hit share. And if you guys just want to let me know that you can see that. Um, and so uh, the first thing actually that will, well, it seems like the first thing we'll take a look at here is going to be our enhanced timeframes. Um, and thank you guys for the thumbs up to let me know you can see that. Um, you'll notice this portal looks a little bit different than yours. Uh, as I told you, the upgrade is not happening until Thursday. So, um, you, you know, I'll get you in touch with our graphics guy if you want. But if you look in the upper left hand corner, that slice of cheese up there is actually a sandbox. And so we are playing in the sandbox today where the, uh, the new release is actually uh, 
is running um, and this is the new time frame so you come into your domain you should, if you're the office manager you can come up to time frames you'll also be able to create personal time frames uh, in the same way but one of the big requests we've always had over the years and something that we um, you know we we've had or other phone systems have had in the past is the ability to create recurring holidays um, and what's a recurring holiday well Christmas is a recurring holiday um, for some folks, um, and you know, uh, there's New Year's is a recurring holiday, um, and these are things that happen every year. Thanksgiving, you'll see here in a minute that I've already created, um, is a recurring holiday. So we've added these new types. Like, so when you click on add a domain time frame, now we used to just have always days of the week, and uh, you know, specific dates, um, and so now we've added holidays and we've added custom. Okay, and we will create one from scratch in just a minute, um, but we're going to take a look at a couple that I've already done. So um, closed is going to be, uh, this is, you know, what hours are we closed? You know, we used to have the thing that slid up and down. Um, some people loved it. Some people didn't like it so much. I just wanted to type something in. The nice thing is, is that you can click copy to all and it'll kind of move your time frames around. Um, it's very easy to create a, a split day. Uh, as well, um, you know, for, for different features and functionality. But this would be like a, a business schedule is what you're looking at here. So we're closed on uh, Sundays all day, Saturdays all day, and then open, uh, sorry, closed from uh, 12 to 8 and then from 5 to, to midnight. Um, and so that's what this looks like. And it has the ability to recur every week. Um, or if I went down to custom, if you're a seasonal business or something like that, we actually could say, okay, I'm gonna create these hours and this is gonna be our summer schedule. It's gonna start this week and it's gonna run for the next eight weeks. Maybe you're a school, maybe you're you know, something like that. So you're gonna start it on a specific date and it's gonna recur every week and it's gonna end on a specific date um, and that time frame will end at that point. Um, so again, we've created some, some nicer ways to schedule some things that you guys might need to do. Now, the big one for me is gonna be the holiday schedule. And as we take a look at this, so this is actually a custom schedule, right? So as if I go back just for a second, if I went to time frame, we have one called holidays. And if you created one called holidays, it would be a single holiday. It would look like this. Um, and so right now, Christmas Day is in there um, and that's an all day holiday, you know, and I could go ahead and I could add some more holidays to this if I wanted to. Here's why we don't do that. We're using the custom uh, time frame for that, and I'll show you why. So if I come in here to, to this, I've added a couple of holidays here. I've added Labor Day, and if I view the rules, um, you know, if uh, Labor Day happens, it always happens on a Monday, right? So it's Monday, observe on the holiday only. Um, and so the good news there is, is that's going to do exactly what you want. By the way, as I go through these kind of things and you say, wow, we're moving really fast right now. Uh, it looks like there's a lot here. I'm very, uh, you know, I'd like some help with this kind of thing. We are here, right? Part of the Vodacall difference and the difference between Vodacall and the big box stores out there is 24-7, 365 stateside support available to you whenever you need it. If you want help setting up some new holidays or time frames or any of those kind of things, reach out to support, let them know, and we'll go ahead and schedule a time. And we can we can either do it right then and there, depending on if it's, hey, can you just schedule us off for Labor Day? Um, or, um, which is coming up, by the way, you'll probably get another email from us over the next few days, just saying, hey, don't forget to reach out to support if you need help creating a schedule. Um, and we'll go ahead and do that for you. But um, you can see that I've added that in. So it's Monday, uh, but you can see here's all the occurrences, right? So it's uh, 9-2-2024, 9-1-2025, 9-7-2026. And so I can see all of those. If I wanted to edit that, you'll see that what I did is I just typed in Labor Day. And, um, you know, I, I made it from 12 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, I could have made it whatever I needed it to. And then yearly on the selected holiday, and it never ends. OK, so I have that ability if I wanted to add. Now, I've got Thanksgiving Day in here as well. All right. And then uh, there's a couple different things that are interesting here. Right? So if I come into Thanksgiving Day, I actually can say yearly on the selected holiday. And if I click the observed holidays here, you'll see that I have it for it's the Thursday and I have it scheduled for observe on holiday and the next day. All right. Now, that's because here at Vodacall, we have Black Friday off as well as Thanksgiving off. Right. So you have that ability as well. 
Um, and I'll show you where that comes into play in, in just a moment. Now, for the sake of this demo, uh, I'm, I'm glad somebody loved that. That's great. Um, you know, it's probably somebody who works at Vodacall is just excited for two days off. Um, but uh, <laughs> let's go ahead. I, I, for the sake of the demo here, I created Black Friday as well. All right, because Black Friday is in there, right? So if, if I wanted to add another, uh, you know, holiday, I could click here and I could type in, you know, anything. So you'll see that, I mean, there's quite a few things. So Martin Luther King Day, right? So we can we can have that. Um, that happens on, uh, next happens on Monday, 125. I believe it's always a Monday. So if I went to observed holiday, I'd say Monday, observe on the holiday only. If it's on a Tuesday, observe on the holiday only. Now let's go ahead into um, here. And so what's this? Well, I added another one here. I came up into here and I said specific dates. And I chose Wednesday 1127, which is the day before Thanksgiving. And I said, okay, and that's gonna happen from 1 p.m. until 1159 p.m. And so what that is, is that's a half day on the day before the holiday. And so I was able to add that in right on the same schedule. Now that one does not recur because it doesn't make sense for it to recur. You know, if I wanted to add in the next one that it recurs, then I could, um, you know, and then I can also put in here and I could do days of the week so I could add another time frame to this. But let's go ahead and, and, and I'm gonna come out of here and I'm gonna go to Christmas break. Um, and I just wanna show you guys something interesting here. So Christmas, it, it's a holiday that moves. Um, so I made this one its own specific date just so I could kind of show you this, but I can say observed holidays. All right. So if it happens on a Sunday, I observe it on the next working day. So that would be on the Monday. Um, if it happens on a Monday, I observe it on the holiday only. Um, if it happens on the Tuesday, I have it so that I can observe it on the holiday and the prior day, right? Because here at Vodacall, if we have, uh, if Christmas falls on a Tuesday, which it happens to this year, uh, you'll also have the Monday off. Okay. And by the way, everybody, that's not our support folks. They will still be available to you uh, again, 365, 24 seven. But um, so if you forget that you're closed on Monday, we can help you out. Um, but you can see, so on the Tuesday, I'm observing it the prior day. See, now that's somebody who works at Vodacall. I just threw a little party ad out there. All right. So on Wednesdays, we observe on the holiday only. Um, on Thursdays, it's the holiday and the next day. On Fridays, it's the holiday only. And on Saturday, it's on the prior workday. Um, so you can see that we've created these schedules so that they're very easy for you guys to set up. Um, and then the nice thing is, is that obviously um, that is going to happen every single year on the selected holiday. Okay. All right. So, um, and there's something really nice about that. Um, okay. So again, but I think most of the time you will see us, uh, if we create a schedule for you, we'll probably just put the holidays all under one. The only exceptions to those kind of things would be if you wanted to calendar a specific message or greeting every single holiday, then we would need to break them out individually for you. Okay. Uh, meaning if you didn't just want to say, hey, we're closed for the holiday and you wanted to say Merry Christmas or, uh, you know, Happy New Year or, you know, any of those kind of things, you could have an individual message. We would need to make individual uh, time frames. But like, so again, this is pretty exciting for us. It's something that people have been asking us for, and it's very, very easy for us to uh, to go ahead and, and change and, and to do things with now um, in ways that we couldn't before. Again, creating these repeating holidays and selecting which day. So what I'll do is I'll just come into here. Uh, I've got Labor Day in there. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and just add specific dates. So I did Labor Day, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and I have a separate one. So I'll go ahead and just add uh, Christmas to this schedule. Right? So I'll say holiday. Um, so I have Christmas Eve when I can say, okay, if it's Christmas Eve, we're going to close the day before or again, and then I can add a specific observed holiday. Um, and then I can say, okay, if it happens again, if Christmas Eve is on a Sunday, um, you know, don't basically observe it on the holiday only, right? Um, if it's on a Monday, observe it on the holiday only. Again, these are, these are probably all going to be the same, um, you know, on, observed on the holiday only. Okay. Um, and then, by the way, I didn't hit save there. Um, my apologies. So if I went in and I wanted to, again, I could add Christmas, um, you know, I, I think you'll see here, Stephen Foster Memorial Day. Um, oh, by the way, uh, you can go to all, and like you could type in, um, 
I think it's so there's the Boston Marathon. Uh, all right, so Boxing Day did not come up, uh, but if I go to all and I type in Boxing Day, um, oh, sorry, United Kingdom. So there's Boxing Day, which is the day after Christmas. Uh, so again, we've got holidays all around the world for those, uh, for our clients that are in other parts of the world. Uh, we can, we can meet you, uh, meet you there as well. Okay. So that's a quick overview of timeframes. Again, um, I do think what we'll do is we'll probably do a webinar on this, um, and expand on it a little bit as we move on, but for the sake of time and for the sake of your time, cause we're already chewing up a bunch of it here. Um, I'm going to keep going. Um, as they always say, and I tell people in a lot of our demos, I apologize that I have the gift of gab and can probably talk forever. Um, so hang on one second and I will stop sharing this window. Okay. Uh, disable and I will go ahead and I'm going to share a slightly different window. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is going to be really quick, by the way, folks. So let's go ahead and take a look at the protocol go web phone. Um, and I have this coming in from the perspective of I'm logging in for the first time, the very first time. So you see one of the things that it's asking me is, okay, which microphone do I want to use? Um, again, which output do I want to use? And then I'm going to get here and uh, you can see how wonderful is this. By the way, if you're not a member of a call center, you wouldn't see this Q stuff. But if you look just there on the left, the big yellowy orange button, dial pad so there it is the dial pad uh, is there for you and then if you look here i can pin the dial pad now and i can minimize it and there it is it's always there it's always open and it's always available um i thank you to our our engineering team and and our folks here this was probably one of the biggest requests ever uh you'll have noticed before it was down on the right you had to click the plus and then you had to find the then pick the dial pad um there it is it's there for you. It's pinned now and super easy to use. Yes, I, I really, I was hoping for more little, little party hats and, 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 you know, and excitement about this, but, um, I think that it's just huge. Okay. Um, last, last time in the release, uh, what we were able to give you guys is the ability to download the app, right? Using progressive web apps so that you could add it to your startup. Now you can do that as well, as same as you always have, but you also have the ability to pin the dial pad right over here on the right. So it's always there for you. You can go ahead and just start typing the number that you want to reach um, and get there. And, and I think that that's um, obviously a pretty big deal. Um, so in a setup, when you log in for the first time, it's going to ask you about which microphone you want to use. Um, and you always have the ability, by the way, to go to settings. Um, and you can, you know, just choose your microphone. I can also see microphone activity there. So I do know that I'm getting, um, I'm, it's actually hearing me. Um, and then I can choose my ringtone, my ringtone output, et cetera, my call waiting tone. And then you'll see right here that I can install this as a progressive web app. Again, that's the same um, thing that we were talking about. We, we were introduced at our last release was the installation so that you could add it to the startup and you didn't need to log in to get to the, uh, to get to the web app all the time. Um, again, this is the big one for me. The user interface is a little bit nicer, uh, but the big thing for me is that the dial pad is right there. Um, and that's just, for me, is just a, a massive. Um, and again, when we say, hey, we listened, this is probably one of the biggest requests we've had um, every single time we've ever run it out or trained on it or anything um, has, has been that. So, so there it is, folks. Um, and again, I think you're going to love it. It'll be there for you, um, on uh, Friday morning. Um, okay. So, uh, you shouldn't need to do anything special, uh, to get it because it's a web app. It will just update itself. Okay. All right. So I'm stop sharing my screen again. Um, okay. So, um, what I'm going to do now, um, is, uh, Okay, one second. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to jump in and show you the new change to the uh, mobile app for call center. Just one sec. Okay, so you guys are actually looking at my mobile phone. Um, I do apologize. I have it on Do Not Disturb, um, but if I, uh, <laughs> but if uh, someone 
uh, does in my, uh, uh, you know, uh, allowed contacts list does fire something over here. It is, it is my actual active mobile phone. And I apologize for anything that comes across it. Um, all right, so I'm logged into the app. What you'll notice here, if you guys are familiar with the app, um, especially if you're a call center agent, if there's a new tab down there in the bottom left, okay, and that tab says call center, it's got the little headset icon. So you can see right now, I am not logged into the call center. I am in a webinar, um, okay, and that's with you guys, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and I'm just gonna say, okay, I'm gonna go online. And what you're gonna see now is I just went online in both of my customer service queues. Okay, and now I do have the ability to come into here and I can go offline in the specific queue. All right, um, so I went offline in customer service one and I'm still online in customer service two. And the other thing that you'll notice when I click there is I can see the other agents, whether they're online or offline. So if I'm making a decision to go on my lunch break, I can kind of look and see who's available in my queues. Um, and I can also view my stats. So um, I don't have any stats in here because this is again in our sandbox. Um, and I can also see how many people are waiting within that queue, okay? And so, um, again, this is something that people have been asking us for is that ability to, um, you know, make it so that the mobile phone from the mobile, you know, mobile only users who are members of call centers uh, wanted to be able to log in and out of the call queues and gain access the same way we can in the web phone and the same way we can in the portal. Um, and so uh, something that people have really been asking for. And again, really exciting uh, to be able to roll that out for everybody here. Um, now, I'm going to throw a quick disclaimer out there. Um, we have two different, at Vodacall, we have two different methods of logging into queues. One is called user-based and the other is called device-based. Um, about 25% of our clients use the device-based uh, logging in, logging out, uh, which needs to be done through the portal. But what device-based means is that you can say, okay, I want to log just my desk phone into the queue, or I want to log just my mobile into the queue, or I want to log, um, again, just my web phone into the queue. Um, and so I think it's really important, uh, you know, for, for everybody to know this feature right here is only supported within user-based queues. Um, so if you just said to yourself, oh no, I'm a device-based queue uh, and, you know, and you'd be interested in talking to us, we can migrate anybody over to user-based queues. Again, about 75 to 80% of our customers um, are in user-based queues. Um, if you are in a device-based queue, um, it is something that we can either, we can talk you through making changes to if it's something that you'd like um, to be able to access this feature. Typically, this feature is going to be for those folks who are really just going to be members of queues or members of call centers and they're, on, you know, and they're remote and they're uh, working from the mobile client all the time. Um, so again, a nice, just a nice feature, a nice way to, uh, to be able to uh, log yourself in and out of the queues. Okay. Um, all right. And so with that, um, uh, that, so we just had a question come in that said, any other upgrades to the mobile app other than call center? Um, you know, Mary, uh, we just did a release of the, of the app, what, uh, probably two weeks ago that, that uh, tackled quite a few things. Um, so this is more of a, of a feature upgrade uh, rather than a just consistent, um, a consistent uh, upgrade to, uh, for productivity. Um, Okay, so the answer to that, I guess, is no. This is this the one for again. This is why we said it was for call center agents, uh, and again, it's it's a feature that people have asked us for a lot. Okay. Tom has a, a good question. Um, so he says uh, sometimes when people work remote, um, they might uh, have some drop calls when using the web phone or cell app. They did notice this due to you know less than stellar Wi-Fi. Of course, those devices are dependent on the environment in which they're connecting to hence your mm -hmm. Wi-Fi, your home router, et cetera. Um, but the ultimate question is, has stability been addressed at all with the new web phone? I, I don't know. I think the stability, again, really depends based upon the environment that in, in which it's being used. Yeah. I mean, I would say, you know, I, you know, I won't tell you that our support team doesn't, um, probably doesn't have, you know, uh, a couple of those a day where somebody's calling in and saying, hey, this is what's going on. Our support team will always say to you, hey, can we just get a couple call examples so we can go take a look and try to see where those calls are 
are, uh, you know, disconnecting um, where, where it is that it's happening. And then hopefully and they can work with you and do some troubleshooting to try to understand, you know, is it router based? Is it uh, your internet based? Is it that the person was on a cell phone and hung up from the remote end um, so that we can come up with, with strategies uh, to help help mitigate any of those kind of things. If it is a consistent thing, um, obviously, you know, a, a lot of times mobile apps are, you know, um, and, and this is one of those things, and this isn't a Vodacall thing, by the way, this is just an industry-wide thing. Um, but, you know, uh, like I use our, I use Teams, um, you know, and in the moment when I pull out of my driveway, if I'm on a Teams call, my call disappears um, and because I just came off my Wi-Fi. And uh, that call may try to reestablish itself. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't when I get back on 5G. Um, it, it really just comes down to Internet. Um, you know, if you are if you're driving down the highway and you swap cell phone towers, there's a chance that you'll lose that phone call for a small period of time. Now, if you're working from home, we should be able to man help manage that environment um, and, and talk you through what's going on. Uh, we don't we don't see a lot of uh, people in stable environments call us and say, hey, this we're dropping phone calls. Um, but, you know, not something we're not, we're, you know, again, a lot of times you, you might think, well, we'll just leave that question sitting over there. Again, I'm happy to have the conversations. Our support team is happy to help you. Um, I think a lot of the times the only thing they might ask you for is a call example. We do have uh, records that show us the calls. What was the call quality? Did we have jitter? Did we have packet loss? Was there something affecting the internet that was causing the, uh, the situation? And again, uh, that's not a Vodacall thing. That's just an industry thing. I think the difference between us and, and, and some of the other folks out there in the industry is we will actually try to help you understand what's happening. Um, you know, I, I think if you were to call AT&T today and say to them, you know, like, hey, I dropped a call. They, they, I, don't, I don't even, you know, A, you probably couldn't get somebody on the phone. But if you did, I don't know that they would help you try to understand what happened. Um, you know, we, we are here to help you guys do that. Um, now again so um any other questions kyle i wasn't jumping in the questions tab so nope uh, so far we're good all questions have been addressed i got a couple follow-ups to do so i'll follow up with those folks um shortly today okay um and you know i did see somebody ask about you know um can you send a list of the differences yeah i think that you know as we uh as we approach and send out our final um send out our final reminder that there's going to be an upgrade it probably wouldn't it's a that's a good idea for us to get some of those things uh, written out so you guys will know um and just so you know the call center stuff if you don't call us and, and say hey i'd like to turn that on it's, it's it's not going to end up on for you um right so some of these are going to be features that you guys have to reach out specifically for um you know so your project managers will be talking to new customers as they come on but our support team's there for everybody um, who's already on board Okay. I think that covered all the things I was supposed to talk about. That but I'm is just double check. Call center mobile access, ring back tones, yes. Domain wide call blogging, yes. Enhanced time frames, yes. Uh, and the new Vodacall Go web phone with the dial pad button uh, docked. Yay. Um, we did have uh, Jonathan, I'm sure many of you guys know him. Um, uh, and he actually threw out a pro tip for everybody um, uh, out there for us to, to, to remind you guys of. And that is if you use a headset but don't have it on all day, the ringtone output will allow you to make your computer speakers ring and not the headset on inbound calls. Um, you know, so uh, you didn't type it too slow, John. We're here for you, buddy. Um, and so uh, he was afraid he typed it too slow and that we uh, we could catch it up tomorrow. We will do this again tomorrow. It won't be exactly the same. They never are. Um, um, you know, we will cover the same things, but, uh, you know, this is uh, not scripted. This is more of a, uh, an interaction. So again, thank you all for coming. Uh, please, if you haven't signed, done the poll yet, please go to the polls and fill that in. If you have any questions, um, we want to say that we hit a milestone today with some of the most people we've had on one of these. And so hopefully you guys will come to some of our other ones. Don't forget to go to the links. Check out our customer love page, our LinkedIn page, our webinar page, and everything else under the sun. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, we love doing these, we, uh, and we love you guys. So thank you for being here. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.